Hey guys, happy Tuesday to everybody. So today I'm going to kind of do the opposite of my top 10 for under $10 tag video that I did a couple of days ago. And this video is going to be my top 10 products that I think are absolutely worth spending money on. So I have skincare items, I have perfume, and I have makeup in here. So some of these things aren't necessarily super expensive per se, but for just being a single item, they're a little bit more expensive, so I thought I would include them here. So I'm not going to go in any particular order with the exception of the very first thing that I'm going to talk about, and it is like my holy grail, I will never be without this item, skincare item. And that is my Clarisonic. I have been using the Clarisonic for probably about two, two and a half years now, and it is the one thing that I can say without a doubt that has changed my skin. When I think back about the way that I used to wash my face, I really can't wonder why my skin never really truly felt clean or why I was dealing with breakouts or blackheads as much as I was. Now this hasn't completely eliminated all of my skin problems, but I can tell you that my skin is 110% better than what it used to be. So I purchased my Clarisonic on QVC with a today's special value that they had going on. So this is just the regular Clarisonic Plus that I have. Now the replacement heads that I use are the deep pore cleansing replacement heads. They have lots of different options, everything from sensitive to delicate to normal um, to the deep pore. So it just kind of depends on your skin type. So really, truly, anybody can use the Clarisonic. You just need to adjust based on your skin type. So if you have really sensitive skin, I would think that the delicate would probably be the best option for you. I really like the Clarisonic Plus. I realize that they have the Mia and the Mia 2 now, so there's lots of different options to choose from. You don't have to go for the Plus. The Plus has the benefit of having like the body attachment, and I think the Mia 2 does as well. But what I really like is the two speeds. So um, for me, I always use it on the highest speed, and I use it on the two minute setting. For me, I find that that gives me the best cleansing um, experience and takes the makeup and whatever else I have on my face off every single evening. There is not a night that goes by that I don't use this thing, at least when I'm like completely sober. <laughs> I'm not a raging alcoholic, but you know like on New Year's Eve or special occasions when you get a little tipsy and all you want to do at the end of the night is go to bed. That may happen like once a year for me, so that's when I won't use this. But otherwise, this is a ritual for me. Every single night, I use this with whatever cleanser I'm using at the moment. Usually, it's the L'Oreal Go360 Clean Exfoliating Scrub. Um, that just kind of is the one that I have around the most often. Um, I just put a little bit on here and I literally just place it on my face and move it around very, very slowly. You don't scrub with this, you're not aggressive with it, you just let the Clarisonic do the work. Everything, all of the makeup, all of the gunk, gone, completely gone. It has also given me the opportunity to make my pores seem a lot smaller. I remember a few years ago, I used to look in the mirror and I hated the size of my pores mostly because I wasn't spending enough time when I was taking off my makeup actually like washing my face as much as I should be. You know, I used to literally just put the soap or, you know, whatever cleanser I was using on my hands and I would just kind of like go like this and then I'd splash my face and then I would call it a day assuming that I had gotten everything off. Absolutely not. That is why my pores were looking massive. Like I wasn't getting all of this stuff out of my pores at the end of every single night. My pores look so much smaller now. Um, you can't shrink your pores after they've already been, um, you know, expanded from, you know, blackheads and all the junk that you get in your skin. But you can help by getting all of the junk out of there every single night, and that helps to make them appear smaller. 
So once the problem is there, it's kind of there, but you can help make it look better by keeping your skin clean. I know that there are some people that don't like this thing because they say that it makes them break out or that it irritates their skin. I really truly think that that is because they're either using the wrong head, they're using it too aggressively, and they're not willing to wait out the purging process. You will absolutely, in all likelihood, probably break out when you first start using this because I think that it does bring all of that stuff up to the surface and it has to escape. And sometimes that is in the form of some blackheads or whiteheads or pimples. So you kind of have to get past that. I have turned so many people onto this just in like my regular everyday life. And if they can get past the purging process, they absolutely love this thing. I recommend this to all of my clients. Whenever my bridal clients come in, I usually do their trials about a month or two before their wedding. I ask them if they use one of these things, and if they don't, I tell them that this is the best investment that they can make for their skincare before their wedding. And I've had a couple of clients use this and fall in love with it, and now they will never be without it. So I'll stop talking about it now, but hands down, this is the best $200 that I have ever spent. Yes, it's a little bit expensive in the long run as well because you have to buy the replacement heads. I only use my Clarisonic at night, so I only replace my heads once every six months. But I do, um, once every other day, pop this off and drop it in some um, boiling water that I just boiled in the microwave. And that's just to kill any like my remaining bacteria or whatever is on here. So the heads last twice as long for me. You're supposed to replace them every three months, but for me, since I only use it at night, every six months is fine. So I just get the two pack replacement things from Sephora when they have the 20% off sale and that has me set for an entire year. So I love this. I will never be without it. Second thing that I think is absolutely worth spending money on and that is purity from philosophy. This is the only thing that I will use to take off my eye makeup. I know that there are lots of people out there who say use coconut oil, use this, use that. For me, this is the only thing that has ever truly worked that hasn't irritated my eyes, that is so gentle, so effective. I love it. I just, I don't ever want to be without this. And I do buy it in these um, 32 ounce containers. Um, this one I recently bought at the Nordstrom semi-annual sale for $50 and it also came with an eight ounce bottle. And the 8 ounce bottle is now what I keep on my countertop. I used to just use this because it does come with a pump, but it's kind of big. So I just have the 8 ounce container and then I refill from this. But hands down, I think this is absolutely worth the investment. Yes, it's expensive, but it works and I love it. Sometimes I will also use this on my Clarisonic as just my cleanser if I feel like it. Um... I normally prefer a more foaming formula on my face when it comes to facial cleansers, so I don't feel quite as clean, even though my skin is totally clean, but I'm just one of those like foaming people. I know it's a, totally a psychological thing, but um, I can use this on my face. It doesn't make me break out. It smells a little bit weird. I can see why some people don't like it. It has a maybe like a slightly like herbally scent to it. It's not super strong. I think this is fantastic. I absolutely think that it's worth spending the money on. Um, you can find this at Sephora, Nordstrom's. Um, I believe even Macy's carries purity, um, sorry, philosophy products. So it's pretty readily available. I can't say enough good things about it. I will never be without this. Another skincare item. This is the Fresh Umbrian Clay Treatment Bar. I believe that I paid either $38 or $40 for this. I bought it from Sephora. It is just a clay bar. I have had this for probably two years now. This thing is amazing. It is not a cleanser. This is a basically a, a clay mask that you put on your face. And the way that you get it onto your face is you wash your face, and then while your face is still wet, you rub this bar on your skin, then you let it dry, and then you just, I mean, I've kept this box for like the two years that I've had this sucker. I just always put it back in there and I mean it dries almost instantly and then I just you know take it out the next time that I want to use it again. There are times when my skin is particularly um, like breakout prone like PMSy times 
that I will use this several days in a row and it just clears up whatever issue that I'm having. And I'm pretty lucky that I don't have a lot of issues, but when I do, I use this and it just makes my skin feel amazing. It doesn't make it feel overly dry or overly tight. Um, it's just fantastic. And it's literally just a clay bar. Like I said, I've had it probably for close to two years now and I love it. It was really expensive when I first bought it and I wasn't sure about it and I totally thought I was going to end up returning it, but I loved it so much that like someday, I don't know when that day would be, maybe another like five years from now when I actually run out of this thing, I will repurchase this in a heartbeat. It is like holy grail, I won't be without this crazy looking bar and it's it's hard. Um, and your face does have to be wet for you to be able to apply this. So don't be like rubbing this on your skin thinking that it's doing anything. Your skin has to be wet. And sometimes it even um, is good to wet the bar a little bit. But you just rub it on your face. You leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes. Wash it off. Your skin feels like a million bucks. It helps to absorb excess oil. It's just fantastic. Another thing that I really, really like in terms of like a treatment product for my skin is the Oxygen Peel from philosophy so this is this is kind of an interesting little thing I don't know if I've ever done a review on this if you want one let me know in terms of like an in-depth review but it's sort of a multi-step process you have these little capsules you take them out you break them apart I'm going to show you it looks almost like a vitamin pill so you take this apart you put it into this little container here and you add water you shake it up it turns into like this gelatinous looking thing you spread that on your face then you take some of this um, like moussey souffle substance and you rub that over top and it starts to bubble up and it's basically um, it's purifying your skin it's pulling all of like the gunk out it just feels like a million bucks. It really helps to brighten my skin. Um, the way that you take it off is, I think you leave it on for like just a few minutes. Yeah, like one to three minutes. Then you take it off with like this little scalpel looking thing and you just scrape it off and then you wash your skin. My skin looks so bright, so refreshed, so beautiful after I use this. This is another thing that absolutely, when I run out of it, I will be repurchasing it. I think it's fantastic. Um, it's kind of fun to use. It feels good. And it just makes me look so refreshed and so, like, dewy. Like, I just, it just feels good. So that's something that I absolutely think is worth spending money on. I do really like the Philosophy skincare, But the two items that are must-haves for me are definitely these two. Another thing that I think is absolutely worth spending money on is perfume. I am one of those people that loves to smell good. All of my hippie friends are like, Ugh, why do you always have to smell like a flowery garden? Like they would rather, I think uh, I smell like patchouli. I'm not a patchouli kind of person. I am, I like things that smell like flowers and fancy lady things. <laughs> So, to me, the two perfumes that hands down I think are worth sniffing out the next time that you're at Sephora are Stella by Stella McCartney and Miss Dior Cherie. Both of these perfumes are my hands down favorites and I just can't live without them. The Miss Dior Cherie is definitely a little spendy but worth every single dime. It just, to me... The only way that I can explain it is like fancy lady smell. And what makes me chuckle a little bit, just because I have all of these like hippie girlfriends that, you know, can't stand to be around me when I'm wearing this stuff, is that this has kind of a patchouli base to it. So it has a more musky type of smell. But I don't know, it just reminds me of, and it's I sound so stupid saying it, it's like fancy lady. Like I just feel like... I should be shopping in Paris and spending a lot of money on things like shoes and purses when I'm wearing this. <laughs> I love it. Hands down, one of like my favorite gifts that I've ever gotten from Craig, besides a beautiful engagement ring. <laughs> 
I love this perfume and I love that he remembered that I like it and that he picked it up for me for Christmas one year. So absolutely when I, when I run out of this, like I will be repurchasing another bottle. You only need like one spray because it is like kapow in your face, but it's, oh, it's so good and it lasts all day. And then the Stella by Stella McCartney is definitely a favorite and funny story, Stella is actually named after this perfume because it is one of my favorite things. And um, her one of her dad's favorite beers is Stella Artois. So my child is in fact named after perfume and beer. So um, we won't tell her that though. But this is such a feminine, beautiful, like rose based fragrance, but it's not like old lady rose. I just, it's so hard to explain, but it's absolutely beautiful and I love it. And I mean, I got the giant bottle of it. Again, with this one, you only need one spritz. Hands down, one of the yummiest, most beautiful perfumes that I've ever smelled. And I just, I love how simple and classic the bottle is. I will never be without this. Again, perfume, I think, is something that is totally worth splurging on if you really, truly love it. And if you're one of those people that has a hard time spending money on things like perfume, wait until Ulta comes out with their 20% off coupons or, you know, the VIB sale comes around at Sephora. Because perfume is definitely one of those things that you probably won't readily find on sale. But if you can get it on sale, do it then. Or Costco. Like right now, I know all of like their fragrances are out again because the holidays are coming up. So go to Costco and see if there's one there that you can pick up. I think they charge $49.99 for everything from Dior to um, the Lancome fragrances to, um, I mean, I've seen Narciso Rodriguez, like anything that you can kind of imagine, Versace. So um, yeah, if you are a bargain hunter, you can find perfumes, you know, at a discounted rate if you're lucky enough at Costco for like 50 bucks. But otherwise, I think these are absolutely worth spending money on. So let's get into a few makeup items. You guys know that I love this and it is worth every single penny. It is the Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. I have been using this for quite a few months now and I love it and I will never be without it. It just looks so beautiful on my skin. I have noticed that over the last few months, my skin has been so much less oily since I've started using this. I'm, and I never thought that I would say this, I am not even using the Milk of Magnesia anymore. This makes my skin look so pretty. I just don't ever want to be without it. It is basically like a BB cream for all intensive purposes. It hydrates your skin, it mattifies, it protects, um, it enhances. <laughs> so, you know, it has all of the same benefits that a BB cream does. And the coverage, I think, is beautiful. It works so well underneath my mineral foundations. It's like 48 bucks. It's expensive. Again, if you can get it on the 20% off sale at Sephora, I would suggest picking it up then. I love this so, so much. And I literally, I mean, I have like three backups of it now, but I will never be without this. When I run out of the backups, which I was lucky enough to be able to find at Costco, I will go to Sephora, even if I don't have a 20% off coupon, and I will purchase this. That is how much I love this product, and that is how much I don't ever want to be without it. A lot of people are always asking me, like, I only have enough money for one palette. What is the one makeup palette that you think I should pick up? And hands down, it is the Lorac Pro Palette. I believe this is $42. It is the best 42, potentially 48. I think it's $42. It is the best $42, however 40 something dollars that you'll ever spend. An entire row of mattes, an entire row of shimmer uh, shadows. I have this in my professional kit. I use this on myself all the time you it barely looks like I have used this even though I use it so so much this is just hands down Lorac has the most beautiful eyeshadows truly her formula is my favorite it has been for years and I was so glad to see once this palette came out people talking about her cosmetics because I just think that Carol Shaw makes absolutely beautiful cosmetics I love her blushes I love her eyeshadows Everything that she has ever come out with that I have tried, I have absolutely fallen in love with. But hands down, if you are trying to choose between the Urban Decay palettes, this, any Too Faced palettes that are out there, 
go for this one. You will not be sorry. It is absolutely beautiful and it's travel friendly. It's sleek. It's easy to use. It's just fantastic and I love it. Another eyeshadow that I cannot get enough of and granted um, this isn't a super expensive product but I know a lot of people are put off by spending you know like $15 on a single eyeshadow. MAC Satin Taupe is an eyeshadow that I have used for years and years and it is the one eyeshadow that I will never be without. Um, I'm going to start purchasing just in the single pan because when you buy just the single pan without the packaging here it's only 10 bucks so it's much cheaper that way but um, I love this. It, it is absolutely worth spending the $10 or if you need it with the little case spending the $15. It is such a beautiful eyeshadow. I have this in my professional kit just as like a single floating around in there because I use it on so so many of my brides. It is beautiful. It just gives you, I'm wearing it in my crease today, I don't know if you can tell it's kind of bright, but it just is so flattering on so many different eye colors and skin colors. I love it. Hands down, I think everybody should own this. So if you haven't picked it up already, I think it's absolutely worth spending money on. If you have a Mac store near you or you order from online, just get the single pan for 10 bucks if you happen to have like a Z palette or some other like random palette floating around that you need an extra color for. Must have. And then the last thing, brows. Brows are a big deal to me because I have overplucked mine for years and I have always been on the lookout for the perfect brow pencil and I have really found it in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil. This is $23. It kind of seems like a lot to spend on a pencil, but it is so worth it. It comes with a spoolie on the end. The color that I have is blonde. I'm wearing it today. It's beautiful. It is not super waxy, but it's just waxy enough. It stays put all day long, even with my oily skin. It doesn't budge, it doesn't oxidize, it doesn't turn orange, and it just gives me the most natural, beautiful looking brows. I will not be without this. I think that I might try the Brow Wiz, just because I've never tried it. The Brow Wiz tends to be the one that I think most people pick up, and the difference is that um, you just twist that one up. I don't mind sharpening this. Um, I've only sharpened it a few times. I mean, I think this is going to last me another six months probably, so I'm not too worried about picking up another one. But hands down, the best brow product that I have picked up that I have spent what I think is probably quite a bit for a pencil. But absolutely, it is worth it. The Anastasia brow products are beautiful, especially this pencil. And again, this is the perfect brow pencil in blonde, and this is the one that you have to sharpen. So, whew, this video is long. Those are my top 10 products that I think are totally worth spending money on. So I did have a couple of things in, um, you know, like the eyeshadow category, category and the perfume, but I just like these are things that I love and if anybody came into my house and took them away I would drive my ass to Sephora or to Ulta and I would pick up replacements immediately for any of these things absolutely for the Clarisonic because I just don't ever want to be without this sucker if we ever have like a power outage and you know I run out of like <laughs> juice on this puppy and I'm not able to recharge it. it it would be like the saddest day ever and I've tried other cleansing systems like the Olay cleansing system and that's good I mean if you truly don't have the money for this and I realize that some people don't the Olay cleansing system is good I have that in my bathroom I don't use it because it doesn't work as well as this does but I think it's a good place for people to start at the very least buy one of those little rubbery sponge things and use that on your face and wash your face for more than 15 seconds because it takes a while to break up all of the dirt and debris that have gotten on your skin during the day. So enough about that tangent. If you guys have any questions about any of these products, definitely leave me a comment below and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.